You also mentioned that when you're communicating with employees through your internet or intranet, that many of them communicate back, both positively and sometimes saying, I'm struggling with something or it's not feeling right to me. That, to me, says they believe you'll listen. How have you actually created an environment of listening? It requires engagement. Mm -hmm. And um, in my case, it requires me to go out and go across the organization and go into environments and where in, in which a lot of the time I'm listening and paying attention uh, to what people are saying and what they have to offer. When people write me, I respond. And it's not all the time I'm in agreement. I mean, I, you know, I can show you some of my emails where we've had healthy debates, and I've never met them before, but they had a strong reaction to something that I wrote about, and they took a position. At times, I've challenged their position. I've said, you know, I hear you. Uh, here's my interpretation of what you're saying. Um, here's why I would um, respectfully uh, differ from that perspective. Mm -hmm. And so I acknowledge uh, in my communication that just like me, you're thinking and I respect your thought process and I appreciate that you were willing to share that with me. Now, let me show you the respect that I got it and I may have a different point of view. And what I have seen in, over time is, number one, people have a lot to offer. And if they feel like you're willing to listen and you're willing to hear, what they have to say, people are um, very much willing to engage.